All right, Deep Dive fans, ready for a deep dive into a discovery that's got the astronomy world buzzing. Literally buzzing. <laughs> well, kind of. We're talking about a galaxy so weird, so unexpected. And you know, astronomers, we love weird. We love unexpected. Exactly. Yeah. It's making everyone rethink what we thought we knew about the early, early universe. And trust me, when astronomers start throwing around words like bizarre and unprecedented, you know things are about to get interesting. Okay, so the James Webb Space Telescope, everyone remembers those mind-blowing images. Oh, absolutely. Game changer. But this goes way beyond pretty pictures. This discovery, it's like getting a sneak peek into the universe's photo album, way back when the very first stars were switching on. Talk about a blast from the past. We're talking about the universe just a billion years after the Big Bang, which in cosmic terms is practically still a newborn. Wow, a billion with a B. So this galaxy has seen some stuff. Oh, you bet. It's ancient, even by space standards. To put things in perspective, our sun is like a little toddler compared to this galaxy. Okay, so we've established this galaxy's old, but what makes it so special? Well, it's not just how old it is, it's what Webb is showing us about how this galaxy is behaving. See, we're used to galaxies being all about the starlight, right? Those bright, shiny objects that dominate the night sky. Makes sense. Stars are giant balls of burning gas. They're meant to be bright. Right, but this galaxy, GSNDG 9422, or 9422 for short, decided to go a different route. It's like the rebel of the early universe, marching to the beat of its own cosmic drum. Ooh, rebellious galaxy. I like it. So what's it doing? How's it rebelling? Instead of starlight stealing the show, 9422 is all about the gas. We're talking intense, glowing gas, shining brighter than anything else in the galaxy. Wait, hold on. The gas itself is outshining the stars. How is that even possible? It's like, imagine a rock concert where the light show itself is more impressive than the band on stage. How do you even begin to explain that? Okay, love the analogy. And that's the million dollar question astronomers are grappling with right now. But here's the thing. This isn't just some random cosmic quirk. It's a vital clue, maybe even a smoking gun. It points us towards a period in the universe's history we've never been able to observe directly before. A time when the very first stars were igniting. Okay, I've heard whispers of these legendary population third stars, the ones that existed right after the Big Bang. But how can we be seeing their fingerprints now? I mean, wouldn't those stars have been long gone by the time our Galaxy 9, Fortune He2 even formed? You're absolutely right. These first generation stars, they were total rock stars, hundreds of times the mass of our sun, burning bright and fast. But their lives were short, ending in spectacular supernovae. So cosmic tragedies, beautiful but gone too soon. What's their connection to this strange glowing galaxy we're talking about? Remember how earlier we were saying 9422 is like a time capsule, a fossil record of the early universe? Well, even though those pop through stars themselves are history, their legacy lives on. They left their mark. You mean 9422 is acting like it's still feeling the after effects of those long gone stars, even billions of years later? You got it. See, astronomers, they've always predicted that the radiation from those early stars, those population three giants, would have been off the charts intense enough to supercharge the gas around them. And that's what we're seeing with 9422. That's the glow. It's like the echo of ancient starlight. Bingo. It's like finding a hidden message from a long lost civilization. We may not be able to see those ancient stars directly anymore, but their influence is imprinted on the very fabric of this galaxy. Okay, so we're not just talking about some pretty lights here. This is a direct link to the very processes that shaped the entire early universe. This is huge. Absolutely. It's rewriting what we thought we knew about the universe's baby pictures. Yeah. And the story gets even wilder. Okay, I'm hooked. Tell me more. How are they even starting to explain this glow? What kind of stars are powering this cosmic rave? Well, we know 9422 itself isn't harboring any of those original population through stars anymore. Webb detected elements like carbon and oxygen, heavier elements, and that tells us generations of stars have lived and died there. Stellar evolution has already done its thing in this galaxy. So what's the deal with its current residents? If they aren't those first generation stars, why are they behaving so strangely? That's the million dollar question, right? It's like they're mimicking those ancient stars, even though they formed way later. And that, my friend, has astronomers scratching their head. Like they're trying to put on a play about their ancestors, but with their own unique modern twist. Exactly. So to try and wrap their heads around this intense energy output, they're exploring a couple of possibilities. One theory is that 9422 might be teeming with a specific type of star, something called a Wolf Rayet star. Ever heard of them? Wolf Rayet stars. 
They sound kind of intense, even for a galaxy we're already calling rebellious. What are those? Oh, they're fascinating. Seriously, think of them like the rock stars of the star world. Massive. Nearing the end of their lives, and they're not going quietly. Instead, they're shedding their outer layers. Shedding their outer layers. Yeah, literally, in these powerful stellar winds, like they're casting off a giant cosmic cloak. Okay, dramatic. What happens when they shed those layers? Well, when those outer layers get stripped away, what you're left with is the star's core, right? And these cores, they are insanely hot, blazing with incredible energy, just completely uninhibited. So they're like stripping down to their fiery underwear and just letting loose all their energy. Uh-huh. That's one way to put it. And astronomers think these wolf at stars, they might be the key to understanding the crazy energy output we're seeing in 9422. Okay, makes sense. So we're talking hot stars, but just how hot are we talking? Okay, picture this. Your average hot star in our little corner of the universe, they top out around 90,000 degrees Fahrenheit. 90,000 degrees. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Right. But now the stars in 9422, they're cranking it up to 11. We're talking well over 140,000 degrees Fahrenheit. 140,000 degrees, that's insane. Yeah, it's pretty mind-blowing. Even for the early universe, finding stars this hot this early on, it's like discovering a hidden treasure chest, like something completely unexpected. Okay, so I think we've established 9422 is weird, it's wild, it's throwing a cosmic rave like no other. But for those of us who don't spend our days thinking about galaxies billions of years old, What's the big takeaway here? Why should we even care? That's the beauty of astronomy, isn't it? It's not just about distant stars and galaxies. It's about understanding our place in this vast cosmic story. So how does 9422 fit into our story? Well, for starters, it shows us just how powerful the James Webb Telescope really is. We're seeing things, details, events that were completely invisible before. It's like we've got a front row seat to the universe's greatest show. It really is remarkable what we're able to see now. And with 9,402, what we're seeing, those clues, they're telling us that those very first stars, those population third giants, they were even more extreme than we ever imagined. They weren't just shining brightly, they were shaping the universe around them in ways we're only beginning to grasp. So every time we think we've got a handle on things, the universe throws a curveball, like 9 Titan to 2 2 our way. And that's what makes it exciting. It keeps us on our toes, challenges our assumptions. All right, deep dive listeners. We've traveled to the edges of the universe, encountered a galaxy throwing a cosmic rave, and uncovered the secrets of long-dead stars. And remember, as you go about your day, look up at the night sky and consider this. The atoms that make you, you, they were forged in the hearts of those ancient stars. We are all connected to those stars, to that distant galaxy, to the universe itself. Until next time, keep those questions coming, keep looking up, and keep diving deep.